Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Childhood Finds and thank you for joining me for another What Sold video. This one's going to be slightly different in the way that I am going to show you. I've done one kind of like this before. Um, actually, I've done a couple, but this one is going to be showing you exactly how much my paycheck is from eBay for the week. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to show you all the items I sold this week. Every single one of them, tell you how much I made. Uh, at the In the second, I'm going to do two parts to this video because I didn't want to do a ton ton of stuff in just one and make it super long. So I'm splitting it up. The first video, I'm going to have 25 sales and I'll tell you the profit on those for the most part. So at the on the second part, I'm going to tell you the deductions after my shipping supply and tax deductions. So then I, you can really get an idea of how much I made in a week. This isn't a particularly great week it's still eh for me here. So I said I was going to do this video whether sales are really good or really bad. I'm just showing you this because this is the truth. This is what is happening. It's transparent of what my sales are like right now. I'm still making money, so I absolutely am not complaining. I am happy. Things are still going, but I did have to take a ton of offers just to try to get the ball rolling on sales. And then the ball just kept stopping every time. So I had a day or two really good sales and then some that were just some of the worst I've had in a year. So it is what it is right now. I'm still staying consistent on listing and cross listing and doing all that. So I'm doing what I need to do and I'm just going to keep doing that and hopefully it catches up. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the sales and then please do look if you're watching this the day of release, I will release the next video part two on the second day that'll tell you my total paycheck for the week and go over a few more sales and I'm doing this through Monday morning to a Sunday evening so it is a full week of sales and I have a few I have like 12 more hours left in this day as I'm filming this so hopefully I'll get some more sales to show you because I don't have a ton ton for the next video right now so we'll see what happens otherwise it'll just be a short part too so let's go ahead and get started on some sales. All right, so just to go over, so what I'm going to be telling you is I, I ha I'm I like 95% sure on most of these what best offer I took, but if I'm not completely right, the order earnings is correct. So I'm telling you, so when I say order earnings, that is going to be how much I'm getting paid by eBay after the shipping fee has been taken out, after promoted listings, after everything. So it's after all of that, and then I'll tell you the cost of goods and how much total profit on that item I have. And then I'll talk about shipping deduction in the next video in just a big lump sum. So first one we're starting with is a vintage Viking glass blue horse figurine art glass. My mother-in-law picked this up at a yard sale over the summer. So, and it's been listed probably six months. It actually took longer to sell than I thought it would, but it sold for full asking of $32.95 and the order earnings for this was $29.91. Cost was a dollar, profit was $28.91. Then we have a brass Ameritac and Co. towel ring, rotting Contessa, it, I think that's the pattern that it is, 1968 bathroom vintage. I took a best offer of 15 for this and it's been listed probably less than a month and my order earnings are $11.86 and it cost me a dollar at an estate sale and my profit was $10.86 total. Next we have, these surprised me. Uh, this is why I pick up hardware because this is a pair of brass bow tassels, curtain drapery tie backs holders vintage. It sold for a best offer of $50. I was surprised that this pair was worth so much, but it is again why I pick up hardware because it can surprise you for sure. And the order earnings was $41.92. I paid five at an estate sale for them. And so my profit was $36.92. So I do have a some decent sales in this video. It's just things are still quite slow and I took a lot of lower offers than I would typically take just because I really need things to move and you know we'll just you just keep pushing it and then hopefully it'll pick up here in a month or two or you know sooner. Next we have this pair of antique travel portrait photo frames lot of tool 
lot of two in tooled leather cases and these were very cool but they did have pictures that I didn't want to try to remove. The leather on the casing wasn't in great condition. So these weren't in great condition, but they are antique and they are highly desirable. And I got these in an online auction and I paid $9 for them total at the auction after the fees. And they sold for best offer of 50. It's a little lower than I really wanted to take, but I really just needed to get some sales in. And so it sold for $40.90, or order earnings is $40.90. The cost was nine, so my profit on this was $31.90, so still a very good profit. Then we have this 90s Linne, Lynn Apparel Eagle Native Blue Tie-Dye T-Shirt Turquoise XL Vintage USA. I probably could have sold this for higher. This was a tiny bit higher than most solds of these types of shirts because of the what was being depicted in it and the just you know the size and the eagle and everything. So I priced it up a tiny bit and it sold in less than a day. So I probably could have got a few more bucks out of it but it sold for the $18.95 very quickly. Um, the profit what or the earnings was $16.21 and I paid $2 for this at a thrift store. So profit was $14.21. Next I have, or excuse me, this little golf club head cover and it's a Daphne's Leopard Wildcat Animal full size plush golf club head cover. This has actually been listed for probably a year and I was really surprised it took this long to sell. I took a best offer of 10 just to get it going because it's been a year and Yes, I probably could have got another dollar or two, but I've already, it's already been a year, guys. So I took it, sold for 10. My order earnings was $7.62. I paid a dollar for it. So my total profit was $6.62. But I, I don't mind that profit on this because it's really not that big. It doesn't break. It's easy to ship and pack. So that really isn't a bad profit for me, as long as it's completely easy. If this was a giant breakable, I'd be changing my tune on that. Then we have another plush, and this is a Gun Chubbs Penguin, I think that's his name, uh, Penguin Plush Red Hat Scarf Black White 8 inch. This has been listed for, I think, just a month or two. I think I listed it after the holiday season, and I got it for a dollar, but it sold for full asking of $11.95. My order earnings was $9.41 and paid a dollar, so $8.41. So some of these aren't huge profits, but they all add up. I really don't mind selling things for that price and that kind of profit, as long as it's easy, it's relatively simple, because you can do a bunch of these in an hour. I just picked these up at a thrift store and they are Suncloud Iris Polarized Black Back Paint Small to Medium Faces. And I didn't put sunglasses in there. Hmm, still sold quickly. And they sold for the full asking of $24.95. Earnings was $18.11. And the cost of goods was $3 at the thrift store. And so my profit was $15.11 on that item. And those were a quick turnaround. I've started to look more at glasses more and more because I have sold a few now. Next, we have Santa's Best Moose Family European Style Blown Glass Christmas Ornament. And this I got at an estate sale towards the very end of sourcing season in November. And it was a very cheap sale. And it was just a get this out of here sale. And it sold for the full asking of $14.95. Took a couple months since November to sell. So three or so months. My earnings is $12.03. Cost me a quarter. And profit is $11.78. So I, most of my cost... Every once in a while, my cost might be a little bit um, guessed in the sense that if it was out of a bulk buy, it could be that it was 30 cents or 35 cents. But everything is very close to what my cost was to give you as accurate a picture as possible. But these aren't 100% on some of them if they were out of bulk buys. But they're very, very, very close. Next, this has been listed forever as well. Well over a year. Got this at an estate sale in 2022 I believe no it was a rummage sale that like no one had gone to and there's a whole bunch of elephant stuff 
And so this is a Dynasty Gallery Art Glass Gray Elephant Paperweight Figurine Hand Fused, four and a half pounds. I took a best offer, I think, of 30, 30, 30-ish. And, but the order earnings was $23.05. It cost a dollar, so my profit was $22.05. But again, this is one that definitely took a lot more time packing. It's something that I've had to move like three times. And so I would still probably pick it up, but it wasn't as good a deal. Like I really wouldn't mind a bunch of plush at like $8 profit because they're easier, but this wasn't a bad deal. It still turned out just fine. It just took a very, very, very long time to sell. I think at least a year and a half to two. And this is an antique cameo portrait, Victorian woman porcelain hand painted brooch pin. I took best offer of $40 for this one. And this has been, this was only listed probably a week or two. And the best offer was 40. My order earnings was 32.51. And I paid a dollar for this at an estate sale. And it's been sat in the death pile for a very long time. And so my profit was $31.51. Then this one, this one is super impressive to me. So this is why I also watch a ton of YouTube as well and watch other people. So I knew that this kind of style bear could definitely be worth money, but I never would have priced it for what I priced it for if I hadn't watched the Rebel Reseller. Um, I'll link their, the channel down in the description. I watch her all the time, probably have watched almost every video, but it, she definitely, made me feel confident in asking for the price of that I did on this bear because this is one that I couldn't find anywhere else and I couldn't find any I found kind of similars but I really couldn't find anything anywhere else but I it sold for full asking of $50 and this is just a Walmart bear guys so that's super impressive to me so absolutely it pays to watch other sellers youtubers as well just to try to get an idea of different items um you know you don't want to take all the knowledge you know at face value but a lot of us are just out there trying to help that's what I'm trying to do pass along what I've learned and troubleshooted so I am very grateful that I watch her because that gave me a really nice sale doing so and but what it is it's a primary color block teddy bear number eight plush 12 inch Walmart stuffed animal vintage full asking of $50 it took less than a month guys I couldn't believe it when this sale came through, but again, you just never know. That's why I do love plush because this was so easy to pack. And so the profit on that, um, or the order, order earnings was $41.80. I paid a dollar for it at a thrift store. So I made $40.80 on that bear. Next, we have a bunny rabbit egg express super cute egg express christopher radko easter spring christmas ornament i love picking up radko this was an okay buy. this was still a good buy i still made good money i took a best offer i think of 40 40 dollars 40 give or take but my order earnings for it was 36 dollars and 76 cents the cost this was nine dollars again at an auction auction all in fees nine dollars so my total profit was $27.76, still a good profit. Um, I probably could have held out a little longer, but it's close to Easter time and I didn't want to miss the season and have it sit for a whole nother year. It could have absolutely sold during the off season, but this is the best chance for it. So I took the offer. Oops. Okay, this was a good sale and I already got good feedback for it. It's a Nico parking meter, Michael's Art Bronze Co. Covington, Kentucky vintage, no key, untested, as is essentially. It was in kind of rough shape, but it sold for full asking of $140. Been listed probably a month or two. Picked this up at a yard sale for 15 bucks. So I paid up guys, I was good and I paid up and it paid off. And so the order earnings was $116. The cost of goods was 15. So I made $101 off of this one. And it is a very cool piece. These I just picked up in a recent haul video I shared. They're brass cowboy western boots, lot of two paperweight decor. And I took a best offer of $21 within a day because 
it was close to my asking and it got him moving and I didn't pay a ton. The order earnings was $17.06, paid $2 for these guys. And so I made $15.06 profit in less than a day on these. These have been listed well over a year, but I picked up a bunch of them at a, it was, I've talked about it in my previous videos, but um, it was at one of our thrift stores, they do like bin things where you'd fill a bag for a certain amount of money. And that came out of the that sale. And these are weatherproof brown leather RFID block secure identity protection wallets. Nothing super special, but I paid about a quarter each because I grabbed a bunch of them. They've taken a while to sell, but they've sold. Uh, I sold two of, I took a best offer for two of them at $20. And so that was free shipping. This was when I was testing out free shipping guys. So it's been a while. And so my order earnings was $10 and 69 cents and I have 50 cents into them. So I made $10.19. These are just a couple little Polly Pocket things, accessories I have left. Um, and it's a 1994 Vintage Bluebird Polly Pocket Happy Horses set complete. I took a best offer of $25 for these little guys and uh, order earnings was $20.50. The cost, this is gonna sound like I paid a whole bunch for this guys, but it was in a bulk lot. And after I did all the listings, I had some that were really valuable and some not as valuable like this one, but the average was $7.50 when I averaged it out between how many listings and how much I paid. But so I still made a profit, but I definitely made more on other lots. So profit was $13. Then we have some Torrid Bombshell Skinny Blue Jeans Premium Stretch 16 XT Extra Tall Women's. And I took a best offer of $18. Sorry guys, I'm a little off today. Um, but $18, but the order earnings, again, the order earnings are all correct. So those are all 100%, but sometimes they offer, I don't remember. And that was $15.29 I made on, on order earnings. They cost me $2.50 at a thrift store. So I made $12.79. Nothing super special, but I would happily do that all day. I'd happily flip those for that kind of price. Oh, let's see if I can read my handwriting. That's nice. This is Clockwork Planet, volume one through five and eight by Yu Kamiya. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's manga, English. And I took a best offer of $35, I believe. And these took over a year to sell. These I was surprised took so long, but they took a while um, and the order Earnings was twenty nine dollars and eighteen cents. Uh, cost of goods was two fifty or no, yeah, I think it was two fifty for all six of them. And then the profit was twenty six dollars and sixty eight cents. This one not a great buy, but it sold. And this is Harry Potter. That is the worst title I think I've ever seen me myself write. Guys, that's horrible. Harry Potter and the hardcover. Welcome to transparency, guys. You get to see all my little mess ups too. So that should say Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, hardcover, 2000 first edition, first printing. So moving forward, <laughs> I took a best offer of $10.50. Sorry, it's so bad. $10.50 on. So my order earnings was $7.32 on this. I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. Profit, $6.32. Eh. I also don't mind that profit too much on books as well because they're all so easy. This is Get Smart Vintage 1965 Don Adams TV show, The Exploding Bomb Board Game Read As Is. This game, you know, it is a desirable one. The bomb, the main part of the game was broken. Like it didn't have the cutouts for the game in here. It was complete technically, but it wasn't usable. Um, but it was in okay condition for what it was and what was available. There really wasn't any others available. I ended up taking a best offer of $50 for this one. And uh, it, so the order earnings was 35.80. I paid five at a yard sale. So it, 
uh, profit was $30.80. So not super, super amazing, but still pretty good for a board game. This is a Style Built Accessories New York Gold Tone Candlestick Holder Cupid Cherub Flower Reed. In the reed, there's a whole bunch of wax, and I, I got to a point where I'm like, I don't want to pick this wax off anymore. I'm done. So I just put that in the description. <laughs> there's still going to need to be some cleaning. And it sold for a best offer of 25 so a little bit less than I was hoping for, but not bad. Order earnings was $20.39, and I paid a dollar at a yard sale. And so profit is $19.39. Just a couple more left on this one. These are Made in USA 4230 Brown Wrangler Rancher 82BN Dress Jeans Cowboy Pants Vintage. I took a best offer of $16 for these and the order earnings was $12.76. I paid a dollar for these at a rummage sale. They've been listed for quite a few months, um, but they sold, and so profit is $11.76. This has been listed forever. I thought it would sell for more. And it's a Mega Flyers Giant Flying Inflatable Big Mouth Bast Unused Item Open Box Remote. Um, my best friend actually picked this up at a thrift store for me, and that's, I have some great friends that will pick up stuff for me. And so I paid what she found it for, which was $5. Um, I thought it would sell for more. I was really surprised that it took so long and didn't sell for quite as much as I thought it did. But still, I'm appreciative of it. My friend found it for me, so uh, still very appreciative of that. And it's, so order earnings was $10.41. Cost was 5 I made five forty one guys. So I am rolling in it. Especially when you see this next one, you're going to see how much I am rolling in the dough. And then we have this Disney's Winnie the Pooh Eeyore Collectibles figure, Fisher Price 2000 vintage. It sold for full asking price of $4.95. My order earnings was $3.45. I paid 50 cents. I made $2.95. Some things are like that. You pick them up and I think I'll lot this with other stuff, but I really don't have anything Apple Gold applicable to blot it with so I don't and so sometimes you just have some cheap stuff up but I still made two dollars and 95 cents so that's something so in this video out of these 25 items uh, my profit was 513 dollars and 28 cents and so the next video I will show you the rest of the items that I sold this week and then I will go over how much I'm deducting for shipping and why and how much I am setting aside for taxes. So then you'll see exactly how much I made in a week. Again, not a super impressive week, but I'm just gonna be transparent with you and show you that some weeks are like this. And we just keep hoping that if we keep consistent, it'll get better. That's all we can hope for guys. So thank you for joining me for part one. When part two is out, I will link it down in the description.